the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh attended a church service in Norfolk. Also joining them was Prince Andrew with daughters Beatrice and Eugenie. The majority of the family had opted to wear green but Beatrice wore blue. Temperatures dropped across the UK today with some parts experiencing snow, but that wasn't enough to deter the royals from attending their traditional Sunday church service. The Queen braved a smattering of snow as she was joined by Prince Philip and granddaughters Beatrice and Eugenie at St. Lawrence Church, Castle Rising this morning. Her Majesty looked her elegant best in an emerald ensemble complete with matching coat and hat as she headed into the chapel, and could later be seen leaving the building with an umbrella after the heavens opened. While her husband, son and granddaughters were covered with a light dusting of snow, the monarch looked relieved to be protected from the elements underneath her brawly. Scroll down for video the Queen appeared to stumble slightly as she walked and aided up the shingled path to the church after being driven there from Sandringham House. But she did not lose her footing and continued up the 100-yard long path while chatting to Lord Greville Howard who lives in Castle Rising. It started snowing during the 50-minute service, prompting the Queen to protect herself from the elements with an umbrella on the walk back to her Range Rover. Wrapping up warm she added a fur scarf in a deep shade of teal adding a pair of much-needed gloves to keep out the chill. Following behind was the Duke of Edinburgh who had prepared for the elements in a forest green pea coat, perfectly complementing the monarch. Also opting for green was Princess Eugenie who showcased her flair for fashion in a trendy cape in a darker hue, adding an elegant hat with lace detail to her outfit. Her older sister, however, appeared to have missed the color memo with Beatrice arriving at the church in a navy blue overcoat. This was no matter, however, as the Princess of York looked effortlessly chic in a beret and bravely opted for bare legs. Their father and the Queen's son Prince Andrew was also in tow, looking dapper in a grey overcoat and two-piece suit. The Queen amused onlookers by taking a wrong turning down the church path. She had been dropped off at the main gate, but her car then went to a side gate to pick up her and 96-year-old Philip after the service. It meant that the royal party had to turn left at a junction of the path in the grounds of the 12th century church. But a church warden at the head of the procession with the Queen, guided her to turn right instead towards the main gate, prompting an onlooker to shout, No! The Queen turned round when she realised her mistake and headed back to the gate where her car was waiting. A policeman joked about the blunder, saying, all the best laid plans. The service was conducted by Sandringham Rector the Rev. Jonathan Riviere and the sermon was given by the Bishop of Lichfield, the Right Rev. Michael at Grave. The royal party went to the home of Lord Howard for refreshments after the service before being driven back to Sandringham House. Locals from the surrounding Norfolk area had gathered at the church to greet the royals as they arrived on Sunday morning. As he walked along, Philip exchanged greetings with a party of women from Corby, Northamptonshire, who were staying in a cottage in Thurnham, Norfolk. When one of the women Jane Tyler, 54, wished him a good morning, he smiled and joked about the snowy weather, saying, what's good about it? Another of the women Elizabeth Berry, 54, said, It is so lovely to see the Queen. She is fabulous and looks really well. It is a bonus for us to see Prince Andrew and his girls as well. Prince Andrew also remarked about the weather, saying, When did this start? As he emerged into the blizzard. When a policeman told Popel, 